Dear learners, welcome to this presentation on dissolution test. In this video, we are going to study what is dissolution and the apparatus used for dissolution test. So, let us start. After watching this video, the learners will be able to define dissolution then understand the construction of dissolution test apparatus then explain the working of dissolution test apparatus now let us start with this presentation so first we will see what is dissolution dissolution is the process by which a solid solute enters into a solution that is mass transfer from solid surface to liquid phase the rate of dissolution is the amount of drug substance that goes into solution per unit time under standardized conditions of liquid oblique solid interface temperature and solvent composition now let us see the construction of dissolution test apparatus it consists of a cylindrical covered vessel made of glass or other transparent material having 1000 ml capacity the vessel is fitted with a lid having four holes one hole for having the shaft of the stirrer second for placing the thermometer third and the fourth hole for removing the sample here you can see in the diagram then the next part is an electric motor which is capable of rotating the basket in the vessel at varied speed between 25 and 150 revolutions per minute the shaft is so adjusted that it enables the basket to revolve smoothly without much wobble here in the diagram you can see the electric motor and shaft then the next part is a cylindrical stainless steel basket made of woven wire cloth having an aperture size of 425 micrometer the top of the basket is attached to the disc on the driving shafter the vessel is equipped with a suitable device for the withdrawal of the samples of the dissolution medium the method of sampling should not interfere excessively with the normal pattern of flow of the dissolution medium in the apparatus. The vessel should be securely clamped in a water bath maintained at 37 plus minus 0.5 degree Celsius having an arrangement for smooth motion of water during the test the temperature is measured by using the thermometer now let us see the working of dissolution test apparatus now let us see the procedure place first place 1000 ml of water which should be free from dissolved air and previously warmed to 36.5 to 37.5 degree Celsius in the vessel. Then place the specified number of tablets in the dry basket. Then set the apparatus. Then start the motor and adjust the rotation speed to 100 rpm or as directed in the monograph then withdraw the stated volume of solution from the vessel after 45 minutes or after the time specified in the 
monograph. Then filter and determine the amount of active ingredient present in it by the method given in the monograph. Repeat the complete operation four times. Now let us see the diagram of dissolution test. As we have studied and seen in the construction, it consists of a cylindrical vessel in which the dissolution medium is placed. To check the temperature, a thermometer is used. Then to the electric motor, a shaft is attached and to the shaft, the basket is attached and in the basket, the tablet of which the dissolution test is to be carried out is placed and it is started. Then after specified time interval, with the help of pipette, the sample is withdrawn and this sample is quantitatively analyzed by using suitable method. After withdrawal of the sample, it is in the cylindrical vessel, the medium is replaced by fresh medium. Fresh dissolution medium is again replaced in it. Then again the further process is carried out. So this is the diagram of dissolution test apparatus which consists of following parts. Here you can see a cylindrical vessel in which the dissolution medium is placed up. Then the electric motor to which shaft is attached and to the shaft the basket is attached up. And in the basket the tablet of which the dissolution test is to be carried out it is placed. Thermometer it is used to check the temperature. Then the pipettes for withdrawing the samples. The tablets pass the test if for each of the five tablets the amount of active ingredients in solution is not less than 70% of the stated amount. In case where two or more tablets are directed to be placed together in the basket for each test in the five replicant test, the amount of active ingredient in solution per tablet in each test should not be less than 70% of the stated amount or of that specified in the monograph. No retesting is allowed. Thank you for your patience listening. If you like this video, press like button. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you for your patience listening. Keep learning.